Hi, and welcome to the video on converting units of volume and capacity. By the end of this video, you should be able to convert units of volume and understand what is vo what is capacity. So I'm going to start with a question. How many centimeter cubes are there in one meter cube? Let's take a look at what that would look like. This is a cube that is one meter by one meter by one meter. Its volume is one times one times one, which is one meter cubed. Now I want to change that into centimeters. Remember how one meter equals 100 centimeters? That means that the volume could be written as 100 times 100 times 100, which is 1 million centimeter cubes. So there are 1 million centimeter cubes in one meter. But how am I going to use that to help me with converting? By now we should be very comfortable with this diagram, changing kilometers to meters to centimeters to millimeters. When we wanted to change this into converting units of area in a previous video, we just multiplied each of these terms by themselves. We squared them. Well, because these are converting units of volume, we're going to be multiplying or dividing these units by themselves three times. So this is the diagram that's going to allow us to convert cubic kilometers into cubic meters, into cubic centimeters, and into cubic millimeters, or vice versa. Let's take a look at an example after we realize that length measures centimeters, area measures centimeters squares, and volume measures centimeters cubed. So how about that example? We're going to change 3,200 millimeters cubed into centimeters cubed. So I'm going to start by looking at my diagram and noticing that I'm going from millimeters into centimeters. And if I was to follow this arrow, I would see that I would be dividing by 10 cubed, or dividing by 1,000. So 3,200 is what I'm going to start with, and I'm going to divide by 10 cubed. This gives me an answer of 3.2 centimeter cubes. So if I have 3,200 millimeter cubes and I put them all together, it's the same as 3.2 centimeter cubes. Now let's take a look at capacity. Capacity is how much liquid something can hold. We need to know the fact that one centimeter cube will hold one milliliter. So imagine a can of Coke, which is 370 milliliters in capacity. This 375 milliliters needs to have a volume of 375 centimeter cubes in order to hold it. Now we know that there is a little bit of volume above the liquid inside a can, so there's probably more than 375 cubic, centi cubic centimeters inside a can, but not that many. Going from one centimeter cube being one milliliter, we also need to know that one liter is the same as a thousand milliliters. So if you have a one liter um, box of milk or container of milk, that's the same as 1,000 milliliters of milk. So that's a thousand centimeter cubes in this container. Finally, we need to know what a kiloliter is. Kilo is the prefix of a 1,000. So this is a thousand liters. That's a thousand of those, a thousand of those, and a thousand of those. So it is a thousand, thousand cubic centimeters. That's a million cubic centimeters. So how does that relate to meters? Well, a million centimeter cubes is a cube that is a hundred by a hundred by a hundred. Now remember how a hundred centimeters is one meter? So that one kiloliter can be held in a box that is one meter cubed, or one meter by one meter by one meter. So let's see if we can't use that idea in this diagram to help us answer this question. We're going to convert 4.3 kiloliters into milliliters. Now remember, there are 1,000 liters in a kiloliter and 1,000 milliliters in a liter. That makes our converting a lot easier. I'm going to be changing 4.3 kiloliters, not into liters, but into milliliters. So I need to multiply by 1,000 and then multiply by 1,000 again. Basically, I could multiply by a million and it would give me my answer in one go. This gives me an answer of 4,300,000 milliliters. Now, kiloliters is the type of capacity that would hold uh, swimming pools. Liters, we're looking at milk, bottles of Coke. Milliliters, you are looking at cans of drink. They're the common conversions and common uses in real life. 
What I'd like you to do now is I want you to pause and summarize this diagram and example as well as this diagram and the example below. These will help you in your questions from your text. And that's it. Hopefully you have an idea about how to convert units of volume and understand what exactly capacity is. Good luck.